Uh, I was in the Army. I was a soldier and stationed at Fort Hood in 2014. And when I had this dream, and I'd had a series of um, difficulties, and um, um, I thought that that was the reason I had this dream. Um, it was a nightmare. And when I woke from the dream, I didn't really feel like I woke from the dream. I um, felt like I was still in it. And I remember standing in formation and feeling like I was still living the dream. And it was very unpleasant, to say the least. There are no words to describe how terrible this dream was except some words I read in the Bible, how exquisite, how terrible, you know not. And um, these words describe hell, and I believe that's what this place was, but I don't believe it was the hell that we will go to after we die. I believe that it's taken me many years to understand what this dream was, what I believe it is now, and what it is that I experienced. I'm not going to give you all the details because I don't want to, I want, while I want to encourage people to follow Jesus Christ and to repent of their sins, I also don't want to scare people, I don't want to give people hope. Um, Um, I want to tell you that if you do not repent um, of your sins and follow after Jesus Christ perfectly, that um, you will regret it. Uh, what I saw was nothing really compared to what I felt. What I felt now, I understand, is God's spirit being withdrawn from the earth. And um, there will be no escaping it. And uh, hell is basically um, eternity after you die. It will be eternity without God, and that will be the fate of the wicked. But uh, when Christ comes again, he will take the, the righteous that have remained, have managed somehow to remain alive, because what I saw were the wicked killing the righteous and eating them. And um, Uh, I saw prominent people that a lot of people think are good participating. I saw it in a place that people would never imagine these things occurring. And um, I'll say to you that it's very important to follow after Jesus Christ. You definitely do not want to be in this place. Um, when he comes, you definitely want to go with him if you're alive, and you definitely don't want to go to this place whether you live or die. Um, you definitely want to be with God. Um, uh, when I woke, um, it took some time for me to have the feelings this, of this terrible dream to wear off. Um, like it stuck to me like, um, like being somewhere where there's a terrible stench and it sticks to you. Uh, but it clung to, to me. Uh, it was a horrible, horrible fear. Like something I've never experienced. 
and um, uh, like being trapped in a horror movie that you're a part of and you cannot escape. Uh, hell is the absence of God and if you do not repent of your sins then you will suffer for eternity in hell. You must repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ um, as your Lord and Savior. And um, there is much more, of course, that goes into accepting the gospel and following after Jesus Christ. Um, but I, I just wanted to share that dream and um, I have also had many, many dreams about the destruction of America. I have also had a dream that in the end America will be redeemed and that the wicked will be destroyed and all who fight against. God and Jesus Christ will be destroyed. All those who kill the Christians will be destroyed. And um, I have had, um, I have seen governments foreign troops come to America. I have seen nuclear bombs. I have an understanding that Americans will be hated all over the world, even more than we already are. Um, I have had so many dreams. And there will be so much sadness. We, we need to repent. And um, it's time to stop pointing fingers and uh, think about yourself as far as repenting and taking account of your own sins and um, focusing on trying to come to know God yourself because when you stand before God, it will be only you before God and no one else. And this is what I want to share with you right now.